Have you ever noticed small, waxy, or wart-like spots appearing on your skin as you age? These could be seborrheic keratoses, one of the most common non-cancerous ingrowths. In today's video, we'll explain what seborrheic keratosis is, the different types you may see, and how a simple, minimally invasive procedure called shave extition can safely remove it. A seborrheic keratosis is a benign or non-cancerous skin tumor that develops from keratinocytes, the cells found in the outermost layer of our skin. No Known as the epidermis. These growths can appear in shades of light tan, brown, or even black. They often have a waxy or scaly surface, giving them a stuck-on look. Like liver spots, they tend to appear more often with age, especially on areas like the face, chest, shoulders, or back. Although they're harmless, some people choose to have them removed for cosmetic reasons or if the lesions become irritated by clothing or friction. Seborrheic keratoses come in several distinct types, each with unique characteristics. Let's go over the most common ones. One common seborrheic keratosis. These are the classic, waxy, raised growths with a smooth or slightly rough surface. They may vary in color from tan to dark brown. Two, stucco keratosis. Usually seen on the lower legs or feet, these are small, flat, white or gray lesions that have a dry, flaky texture, more common in lighter skin tones. Three, dermatosis papulosa nigra. Often seen in people with darker skin, especially on the cheeks and temples. These are small, dark, and smooth bumps that tend to cluster together. 4. Flat seborrheic keratosis. These appear more like light brown patches that lie flat on the skin rather than raised, often mistaken for freckles or lentigenes. 5. Irritated seborrheic keratosis. When a lesion becomes red, inflamed, or crusted due to friction or picking, it's called an irritated seborrheic keratosis. These are sometimes removed to rule out other skin conditions. One of the most common and effective ways to remove Remove a seborrheic keratosis, especially one that's raised, is a shave excision. Here's how it's done. 1. First, a local anesthetic is injected to numb the skin around the growth. 2. Then, using a surgical blade or scalpel, the nurse practitioner carefully shaves the lesion off at the level of the surrounding skin. 3. If any bleeding occurs, a gentle electrocautery device is used to stop it and smooth the surface. The removed tissue can be sent to a lab for microscopic examination, an important step when confirming diagnosis or ruling out other skin conditions. The result is a shallow abrasion that heals naturally within days. After the procedure, keep the area clean, apply a thin layer of antibiotic ointment, and cover it with a light dressing. Healing is usually fast, and scarring is minimal. You may notice a light or pink mark that fades with time. Other methods of removal include cryotherapy, which freezes the lesion using liquid nitrogen, electrodesiccation and curatage, which burns and scrapes the growth away, laser therapy, which targets the lesion with concentrated light, and topical agents, which are being studied as non-invasive treatments for smaller or flatter lesions. Seborrheic keratoses are completely benign, but if you have a changing or irritated lesion, it's always best to see a qualified healthcare provider. They can help you choose the safest and most effective removal method for your skin. Is your seborrheic keratosis removed? Tell us which method you use to remove your eborrheic keratosis.